senator from Wisconsin talks about Democrats not taking yes for an answer. So let me tell you what we did not take for an answer. We did not take for an answer the Republican bill, which did not have a nickel for unemployment benefits. We did not take yes for an answer for a bill that did not have a nickel for direct payments. Senator from Wisconsin talks about the deficit. Yet the senator from Wisconsin voted for over a trillion dollars in tax breaks for billionaires and large profitable corporations. That's okay. Senator from Wisconsin voted for a bloated military budget, $740 billion. That's okay. Senator from Wisconsin supports hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars in corporate welfare. A senator from Wisconsin threw out some numbers. Let me throw out some other numbers. Half of the people in this country are living paycheck to paycheck. Millions of workers are trying to survive on starvation wages of 10 or 12, 12 bucks an hour. 90 million people are uninsured or underinsured, can't afford to go to a doctor. 19 million families spending half of their limited incomes on housing. Madam President, today we have the most severe hunger crisis in America that we have had in decades. Children in this country are going hungry, while a half a million people are homeless, and many millions more fear eviction. Today, as a result of the pandemic, not only do we have the worst health care crisis in 100 years, but the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. So, Madam President, I say to my colleague from Wisconsin, yeah, I will not support proposals that do not provide a nickel in unemployment benefits, not a nickel in direct relief to tens of millions of low-income and middle-income families. So, Madam President, I would hope very much that this Congress appreciates the pain that is out there, and that instead of worrying about tax breaks for billionaires or corporate welfare, let's pay attention to the needs of working families and let us pass legislation which includes $1,200 direct payment to working class families, as we did in the CARES Act, 500 bucks to their kids, and certainly not taking a nickel away from unemployment and the other important provisions that are currently being negotiated.